This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN, headline news update. Good morning, everyone. Tiger Financial News Network, 10 a.m. market update with Basil Chapman here on the 6th of uh, September. We're looking at the Dow. Some bad news just came out at 10 o'clock because the market was down, but it just added another slew of, of selling pressure. We're down 141 in the Dow, 34,508. You can see this nine-period moving average tried to cross positive two days ago, but it, it failed yesterday and today it's continuing down. It's not a good sign. Looking at the S&P and the SPX.X, we're looking at it down uh, 21. <clears throat> Had a very strong move to the upside, but it's giving back a chunk, yet all the technicals at this particular point are still positive. And that's what I mean when I say that there's really a bunch of cross currents here. So at 44.74, uh, if it starts to trade under 44.65 uh, intraday today, that's just not a good sign. So it needs to turn around very quickly to move upside. Looking at the QQQ index 100 Invesco Trust Series down to at uh, 375.94, holding very very well. Just reluctant to give up these these prices, but it's starting to give it up a little bit. IWM. Russell 2000, horrible session yesterday, week today, down seven cents at 185.75. Now, this is going to be very important because we've got gold trying to rally here. It, it had a little bit of a pop. To, it got to like almost unchanged. And now it's down seven. And I have to tell you, this 200 period moving average in the daily chart, that repellent line is just so strong that the 1936 to 1932 support level must hold. Looking at the dollar, the dollar had a very strong move up uh, yesterday. Today it is uh, just about unchanged at 10480. All the technicals are strong. Stochastic did dip sharply, but now it's back over 83%. Ooh, this, is, this is putting a little pressure on the market. Looking at uh, the bonds. <clears throat> Bonds oh, are down again, are down almost a half a point, and the crude oil is uh, up 10 cents. I'll be back with the Tiger Technician's Hour and check out my opening call daily newsletter. See you in a few moments.